So I, I'm assuming I don't currently have my glider at the moment. Hey, you got a gliding object? Hold on, how do I eat this? Here we go. Well, I selected it. Eat the apple. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it here. Maybe if I hold apple? Hey! Are you another friendly construct? I present to you, Apple. Apple. Okay, well, I'm taking it back then. Hello, you seem to be new here. Be wary of soldier constructs as you travel this way. Soldier constructs? Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect this land. The Zonai who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser too. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. Oh yeah, alright, yeah, go for it. Backseat game me, I guess. It is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. Oh, okay, you just want me to... Alright, you may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please do not actually attack. Okay, well, you got it, buddy. I lock on. I respect, you know, your wishes. You're, you seem like a kindly individual. But I'm also breaking your pot, so I hope you didn't... You, you gotta specify more commands than just don't attack me. You gotta be like, don't break my stuff. Don't take my money. Don't, <laughs> don't plunder my lands for loot. Is there anything over here? I'm kind of just following their, like, kind of guided path, you know? Their areas that are well lit and have things happening around them in a specific way. You know, trying to... Sometimes you just gotta let the devs have their default gamer brain stuff. But hey, if they're gonna leave like this little area up here... Actually, did I come from up here? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Thought I was going to, you know, newfound paths. No. I was backtracking. Oh shit, wait. <laughs> Didn't want to throw that. What did it say? Select material to throw. Oh. <laughs> apple! Yeah! yeah. <gasps> My apple! No! There's gyroscope aiming, so I aimed at this, and then I moved my controller in real life. I didn't even touch the analog stick. Oh, jeez. Can I turn that off? I... Uh, uh. Options. Uh, aim with motion controls. Assign jump to B and dash and other actions to X. Yo, hold up, what? Thanks, man. Thanks, Nintendo. I appreciate it. Lock the minimap to north, regardless of which direction Link is facing. I don't know if I care. I probably, I, yeah, yeah, no, I need that, actually. Helps me get, like, a lay of the land a little bit better. Now I'm jumping like this is a normal controller. Standardized game controls. Yeehaw! Frog. Get back here, frog! Ha-ha! Hot-footed frog. A quick frog that can be found hopping around near water. Cook it with monster parts to draw out its speed boost effect. Oh. Oh, this, this, this frog is cooked. Not yet, but it's, it's gonna be on its way. 
Oh no. Wait. Oh, oh, I forgot. You drown if you run out of stamina. Oh. No, I'm right there. I'm right there. Fuck. Ow. If your stamina wheel runs out, you'll be too tired to do certain actions until it fills up again. And also, you still drown. <laughs> Even if you're one inch away from to the shore. Fine. Powerful lesson to learn early. <laughs> throw a weapon. You want me to throw? Uh, okay. I was gonna say, do I have to throw it at this guy? Sneak up on them. Maybe even knock them out with my... My stick. I'm a bird too. No! Ah! Damn it! The other one spotted me. I should have hit it. This guy, he didn't get the memo. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you, you're lucky I don't have my arrows yet. My bone arrows to take out the uh, targets from afar. What the hell? Is that a train track or something? There's some rails over there by the looks of it, but maybe it's just going to be a dramatic bridge. <sighs> Man, this area is misty. Or would it just be cloudy? So technically, we're all up in the sky. enemies. Is he gonna fucking let me do anything other than regular attacks? Because I feel like I need to be able to block. And, uh... Oh shit, that guy's got a longer weapon. Oh, there's three of them! Attack! Um... I didn't mean to do that! Oh my god! Okay, all right, all right. I can dodge if I'm locked on and I press the jump button. Long stick. A long stick fashioned from a tree branch. Its straight shape makes it work well as a lunging weapon. Okay, hold on, I gotta get rid of some shit. Drop the branch. Drop the branch. So if I press down on the right stick, I can pull out the camera. Oh, my fucking eyes. Oh, my God. OK. <laughs> I made the rainbow. Rid of these. What kind of stamps can I do now? So I can do 300 of all these other stamps. 
And then just like the six of the pins, which obviously would be marked whenever I zoom in on the, the binoculars. They still haven't given us the ability to add names and shit to my stamps. So that's, that's sad. But I'll, I'll make it work. Ooh. Hey, Construct's just chilling out by the campfire. You have stories to regale me with, friend? What is this? A toasty sky shroom. A simply, a simply grilled sky shroom. The heat brings out its flavor and increases the amount of health it can restore. Ah, uh, I roasted that. But it is yours if you want. You roast them? Oh, I had not noticed before that you were unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my task is to explain anything that visitors might require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall that your question was about roasting food. I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to use this fire to roast them. Yeah, I could roast an apple, sure. Bloop. Do we have to get it closer? There you go. Oh, okay, I might have just lit it on fire. <laughs> Baked apple. Direct heat has softened and sweetened this apple. Eat it to restore three quarters of a heart. Nice. Apples. Superior. And then once it's cooked, it goes into the food area rather than materials. Oh, okay, they keep it separate. I can appreciate that. All right, Construct, I have learned how to cook. You are welcome to warm yourself by the fire. I encourage you to roast any ingredients that you have brought with you. Maybe another time. You're welcome to visit again. Yeah. I wonder if there's a limit how many of these things I can have. Okay, I'm not gonna... We'll take it slow. Well, I guess it kind of makes sense. Yeah. I just didn't want to like and drought again. That looks like a fairly important place, but you know, I'll prioritize making my way to Zelda. Maybe we can get some important items over there. Like, obviously, I doubt we're actually going to run into Zelda in any, like, super timely manner. Ugh, shit. <laughs> Works for me! Rusty Broadsword. This once fearsome sword has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hands, but also breaks quickly. Old wooden shield, an aged, worn out wooden shield. It can withstand lighter attacks such as arrows. Raise your shield with ZL. Block when using one handed weapon. Here's. Here's what I needed. Parry. Alright, so we have parry, we have dodge. I'm just gonna have to, like, get good. Hopefully, properly be able to dodge at least basic attacks. By the midway point of Breath of the Wild, I was able to, like, parry guardian attacks somewhat reliably. <laughs> okay. I'm just pressing buttons. I was trying to see how to, uh... There we go. I gotta get my subconscious to know the buttons to press for everything. Oh, we're not allowed? Hand, talk. That door will open only to those with sufficient power. Ah! I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. 
That arm originally belonged to me. I am Raru. Raru, source of the right arm. That's a fun name. Source of the right arm. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. Yeah, I've run into quite a few ghosts. It's okay. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Let me guess, it's over to that area on our right? Uh, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Got it! Shrines. Yes, I'm sure they are the key. Hmm, more shrines. Does yours have, like, decrepit, aged corpses sitting in there waiting to give me power-ups? Or is this just, like, a shrine in a different sense? The closed door. When you tried to open the door to the Temple of Time, Raru appeared and said he was the original owner of your new arm. He also said you need to revitalize the arm so the power of its touch will open the door. To do that, visit the island's shrines. A green light of spirals above each of them. Oh, I gotta do more than one? Okay, okay. Okay. Can I, like, safely get down from here? I don't want to go all the way back down the ramp. I'm taking a risk. Okay. You never know what they decide in a game will be, uh... Worthy of taking fall damage. And it's so scary, starting off with three hearts. Hey, arrows! I mean, not a good sign, considering that means this guy up here is what probably shot them, but... Uh, that's fine. Bring it on. Fire your arrow. Okay, alright, I was a little too preemptive. Try it again. Okay, alright, this is... I think I'm gonna be better off just smacking things. Old wooden bow. Wooden bow from the olden days. It's built for hunting, but it's not very powerful. Alright, equip a bow to attack enemies from Avar. ZR and release. Wait, come back. Yeah! Hit an enemy's head with an arrow to perform a critical hit that deals two times damage. I'm down for that. If things don't work out for my, uh... If things don't work out for my sword capabilities, I can at the very least shoot things. You know, use my options. Now how kind of them, they put this little railing here. So if you go into the water, you don't just fall to your death. Temptation. Did you see what happens? Too high. I must ignore it. Oh, we're actually. Time is actually advancing on this little island here. Oh, mushroom. Rushroom. A rush, mushroom that can grow almost anywhere but prefers ceilings and sheer cliffs. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your movement speed. Dramatic sounds. Uh, 
I just want my first power-ups. Uko Shrine. Or Yuko Shrine? It doesn't matter. Alright. Uh, uh. I guess I am having to enter shrines again. Okay. This is cool. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought we were just gonna like seamlessly transition between the areas, which would be so fucking neat. But doesn't happen that way. Oh. oh God, you've already started, huh? So you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. Mm -hmm. Now then, extend your hand. Okay. Oh. I get it as soon as I come into the area? Because, like, I'm down for that. Ultra Hand. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. Mm. This is the Ultra Hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you'll be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Mm. Use Ultra Hand and receive the blessing from this shrine. Oh, okay, we're not... <laughs> Ooh. The ability to create... Grab. Make a bridge! <laughs> Make a better bridge. Haha. <laughs> Make a long bridge. All right, snap it, snap it. And Attach. This should be good enough. Keep pressing the wrong button to cancel it out. fuck is that? Okay, maybe no, nothing I have to be worried about. Just, you know, those particular rings up there looked a little bit intimidating. Uh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks for the inspiration, game. I, I already figured that's what you kind of wanted me to do. All right, we're making a... Rather than a train, I guess we're just... Looking. Connecting uh, hooks to wood. And then riding them down. Oh my god, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. To adventure! Oh wait, this is the end of the shrine. Any creepy corpses in here? To like, praise me? There's creepy statues. Or maybe creepy... What, what the hell? Is that the first royal family? You know, the... Uh, the the Zonai with a Hyrulean? Well, 
Oh. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Can you give me light that regrows my arm? Oh! Huh. Oh. I guess I did have some evil on me, still. Light of Blessing, a crystal that glows with the light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. Okay, it gave me health back. May the Light of Blessing grant you the strength you seek. Thank you, super dead people. Oh, we're, we're leaving? Okay, alright. Oh. You did very well getting through that shrine, and you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. Mm. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins, then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Pure Pad offers you a very useful scope. It's quite handy. Okay, yeah, that's a- that's a sound idea. I see one over there. And I see one over, uh, there. Although I'm sad I can't, like, directly choose which color pin I want. But I think I can do that from the map. <laughs> There's no point to do it. I just, well, you know, I like having options. <laughs> All right. So were there things out here before that were just laying around until I completed the shrine? I kind of just ran straight forward over here, so I didn't really check. Okay, I just want to see if there's anything cool over here. If I shoot a bird... Do I get the bird, or do I get the meat from the bird? Keeping an ear out for the doves. They were so confident that they could just fly away from any danger. But now the danger flies at them! <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, okay, it's just... Debris. Doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Okay, sorry. <laughs> I went to scratch my nose and I started flicking the controller up, which threw my... my creation here. I'm kind of scared about this. This really doesn't seem that secure. These are OSHA violations. Oh, fuck, there was a bird. Oh, well. Construct? Oh, you're not a soldier. Wood. A portable bundle of wood. You can use this to make a campfire if you have something to light it. Hey there. Fix your gaze forward. Face it head on. Hmm? Oh, pardon me. I was absorbed in my wood cutting. Are you here for wood cutting too? Wood cutting? Wood cutting is the practice of chopping down trees to create logs. Logs can be combined to assemble platforms. 
You can also chop them down further to make wood. Lumber has many uses. That is why I come here daily to chop wood. And yet I still find it difficult to chop them down in the intended direction. That is why you may have heard me muttering to myself. Fix your gaze forward. Face it head on. Ah, I apologize. I have been rambling for some time. There is an axe I no longer need over there. It is yours to use if you want to do some woodcutting. Oh my, has it grown so late already? I must have failed to notice the time bell. I will rest for today. Okay, have a good sleep. I'm gonna do some woodcutting, I guess. Ooh, it's... Got a color highlight. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, man. You just can't show up like this, all right? You gotta give me a, a warning. I see that they're still at work, even now. We originally created the constructs to assist us in our endeavors. All of us were fond of them. I never imagined they would continue to carry out their assigned tasks to this day. Hmm. The fact that their labor no longer serves any purpose, yet they perform it still, it is disquieting to me. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you make AI that just repeat their tasks over and over and over again with no way to really stop it. Hmm. Uh, they still strive to fulfill their purpose, even when anyone who would benefit it is gone. Hmm. To see them toil away still, it grieves me. Well, maybe fix them up. What the fuck? Why do you... Why'd the robot make this sail? How big can I make certain... Our big focus for now, because obviously there will be plenty of times to mess around with wood and creating machinery for use. Lots of time. Uh, we're going to try and get our shrines completed. Okay. Rock frond, a mysterious leaf that looks like it might be hiding something behind it. It has some medicinal value. Attach it to a stick and it can be used as a fan. Oh, so I can use it for the sale. Is there even any water for me to put it on on this specific part? There's water over there. Yo, come along. <laughs> Save me the trouble of making a, a boat later. Okay. Now how the hell do I get across this? Good enough. It's not, it's not actually. like a third one should be sufficient. <laughs> I I am smart being. I have created bridge. Good enough. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Fish! Ancient arowana, a lively fish that hasn't changed much since ancient times. Its nutritious meat can restore a bit of health. I bet when cooked, it will be incredibly delicious.
All right. Uh, I don't think this is going to be useful on this particular side of the bridge. We'll bring it over here. Whew. Oh, the Nintendo Switch is crying right now. Oh, my frame rate. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, little thing. Nintendo has put you through so much. <laughs> God. Is that... Okay, it's just another construct. I'm gonna be sad if they turn into, like, enemies in the future. Oh. Oh. Hunting, huh? Shh, shh, quiet. I'm engaged in hunting. Hunting? Yes, I hunt wild creatures that inhabit the forest. Hmm? I do not remember seeing you here before. We constructs fulfill several roles. One is to provide any necessary explanations to newcomers such as yourself. Other constructs you meet will be able to answer questions you may have about other subjects. My specialty is hunting. To hunt is to dispatch wild creatures. Many of them dwell within this forest. They are highly nutritious to organic life. They are also extremely wary. A hunter must not make noise. Crouching is essential for silence. Okay. A bow can be used to strike from afar. Aiming for weak spots is best. I will give you the bow placed over there. Use it as you please. Thanks. Yeah, I... I already got a bow. Those guys are kind of looking at me already. At least it looked like they were looking at me. I don't actually know what, what their eyes are on this. That's one. Raw meat. Meat obtained from animals in plains and forests. You can eat it raw, but cooking it will make it more delicious and nutritious. You can run, but you're stuck on this island with me. And I will get more meat. Oh. Well, that's not something I expected. <laughs> I didn't think it was just going to vanish out of existence. It's okay. I'm sure more will spawn eventually. I like that little touch. The music like kind of goes a little bit quieter while you're crouching. Beesh. You want some too? Yeah. <laughs> Where, where are some soldier constructs? I had too many friendly constructs. They're, they're, they're making me feel at ease, you know? You can pass time by the fire. Sit by fire until... No, I'm good. Okay, I wasn't talking to the construct. My next batch will also be tasty. Pardon me for not noticing you. I was absorbed in preparing my next meal. Mm, I do not recall having seen you before today. I must doubly apologize for my inattentiveness. Inattenti There's a beast in the distance. It is the duty of a construct to field any questions that those such as yourself may have. You may pose those questions to any construct. We will answer them as best as we can. Are you interested in my cooking? Cooking? Ah, uh, you seem to be uneducated when it comes to cooking. Well, I mean... Sure, we'll go with that. Very well, you will learn how to create a meal on your own. Educate me! Cooking step one, hold the ingredients in your arms. Step two, throw them into a pot over a lit fire. Cooking complete. That is the simple version. The world of cooking can be as complex as you want. There are many possible dishes. What you make and what effect you gain depends on the ingredients used. Some meals are warming, others may replenish stamina. 
Tiny organisms known as critters and monster parts are not food. Save them as the base for elixirs. This information was provided by our creators, but I cannot eat, so take it with a grain of salt. Food joke. I will remain stationed here. Ask me anytime you have further questions about cooking. Okay, alright. So you're saying if I uh, go into my inventory and maybe like say grab a frog mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then maybe a uh, mushroom mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and then maybe some sky shrooms as well. Cook! No! Dubious food! It's too gross to even look at. A bizarre smell issues forth from this heap. Eating it won't hurt you though, probably. <laughs> That's not cool. Okay, all right, surely some shrooms combined with another shroom, ah, huh? see, see? Hasty Mushroom Skewer grants a low-level movement speed boost. This simple mushroom pack skewer has its colorful presentation to thank for its appeal. I've made a successful meal. Hey. What are you looking at? Yeah, that's what I thought, buddy. <laughs> Wait, what the? Cricket. A very energetic cricket. Cook it with monster parts to create a stamina recovery elixir. I'll get... Mm. Oh. I'll take every creature on this land. They will be consumed one way or another. Stam bulb. Contains nutrients that increase endurance. Cook it to restore stamina. There's so many things to be found. Hip. Hip. And so much water out here, jeez. Hey, is that a chest and a bunch of enemies? Wow. I kind of feel bad. I threw my my raft over here and I never even rode it. Wait. A frog isn't a critter? Or rather, a frog is a critter? Oh! So that's why what I became... Oh, okay. People eat frogs, all right? That's not on me. <laughs> Nintendo has decided, no, you do not eat the frogs. You drink the frogs. <laughs> 